Hello, fellow miners, and welcome to another episode from Spice Mines Gaming. We're back at Savannah Survival, and I'm going to try to tackle two more achievements today, namely Sniper Duel and Zombie Doctor. Now, these two uh, just require a little bit of preparation, but they're not terribly difficult. And also, in the meantime, I'm going to be working on chipping away at preparation for a few other achievements. And another thing you might notice, I don't know if I've mentioned it in this series yet, but look how far I can see now. Way over that way. I have new hardware here that I'm playing this game on. And let me tell you, this has been an amazing adjustment, getting this hardware. I'm really liking it. I can see further. I have my frame rate is way up. The audio is better. The video is better. It's just an all-around better experience. So, yeah. So, hopefully, all of my problems and woes are gone. <laughs> okay. So, the first thing I need to do in preparation for today's episode is make uh, three splash potions of weakness. Those are made of fermented spider eye. And I just need one. And I need sugar. And then I need... Brown mushroom, fermented spider eyes, and gunpowder. That's all I need for these potions. And then I also need three golden apples, which I have them in a shulker box. So let me grab these three, because this is going to be used for the zombie doctor uh, achievement here. And I want to try to take care of zombie doctor and um, the sniper duel. Yeah, like I said. And once I get these taken care of, then we're going to be... That's just going to be two more achievements taken off the list, and that's going to be great. And then we got some hard ones to take care of, or some time-consuming ones. That's the other thing. Some of these are not hard. They're just time-consuming. Like the uh, subspace bubble one, where you have to travel 7,000 blocks in the overworld by using the nether. Not hard at all. It just takes a lot of time, a lot of digging. And uh, so it's becoming nighttime. Which is ideal, because I need it to be night for skeletons, and I need it to be night for zombie villagers. Those are the two mobs that I want tonight. Now, I did notice that in my mob spawner, I have been getting zombie villagers. So, you know, there's another option to kind of AFK for a little bit and maybe get one through there. Okay, splash pose and a weakness. That's what I need right there. Let's stick these here. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm probably not going to need my elytra this episode right now. So I'm going to put one of these down here. And then I'm going to go get my golden apples. Which are going to be up here in a shulker box. And that would be this one right here. Right there. I'll put one, two, three of them in here. And another thing is, if I happen to not need to use all three of these potions, which, you know, it's very possible because it just getting these things to cooperate is one thing. And so there's a chance of missing. There's a chance of just, you know, y sometimes you got to make extras. Okay, so on to Sniper Duel. There's a couple of ways that I could take care of this. Like you see right there, that's likely a skeleton, and I'm definitely 50 blocks away. I have to be 50 blocks away from a skeleton. You know, there's one right there. Let's just see if I can do this really quick. I've got a staging area set up. And this is going to be difficult because it's hard to see. And I know I'm shooting a little high. That's probably not 50 blocks away, but he went down. No, there's another skeleton right there. So this is another, This is the first way to do it is just try to guess if you're 50 blocks away and just start shooting him until they die. Now, that guy very well could be 50 blocks away. Let's see. Well, there you go. <laughs> and we get some glorious music to go along with it. Well, that was easy. I actually set up a little area over here that was like a holding facility for skeletons. This is another way to do this. Let's kind of walk over here because I do need to start walking around to find a zombie villager. And I'm going to avoid pretty much anything except for zombie villagers unless they like this guy right here he just he just wants to party or whatever so we'll get him out of the way whoa yeah let's just kind of move around here i just i don't want to waste a lot of time with you know trivial stuff here i want to get 
I want to get going. I want to get this uh, zombie villager found and get him cured so I can at least get these two things taken care of and then move on to the next. All right, so I have these stones set up over here. Now this is back on to the uh, zomb uh, the uh, sniper duel, but uh, I'm going to talk about that as I look for a zombie villager. Now I'm going to aggravate a lot of things here. I'm probably going to get chased a lot. But I set up this right here. I was going to fence this in and put a gate on this side and a gate on that side. And what I was going to do is try to draw a skeleton in here and trap him in here. And he'll just run around here. And then I run over here to this group of stone over here. Yeah, this is not going to be fun. Right here. And then from behind this block, that was 50 blocks away. And then just shoot the skeleton. I mean, that's that's the easiest way to take care of this. I might have to grab my elytra and blast off here. Because nobody's going to leave me alone out here. Oh, as you can see, that guy right there. Okay. Zombie villager. You know these creepers are going to be handy. For gunpowder, so let's just take care of them. I'll take care of those guys, but I need to look for... I think I'm going to have to take to the sky on this one because I'm just it's just going to be non-stop running into bad guys here. But let's just kind of move along here. And I don't know if it's still the case, but it may have just been coincidence or rumor or whatever, but supposedly you could find zombie villagers close to villages, or you're more likely to find them close to villages. And there just happens to be a village right here. So I wonder if that's the case. I also know where other villages are, so it's possible that I could fly to other villages, and maybe that's the case. I don't know. Now, when I played for the P or played on the PS3, I mean that seemed like it was the case where it, the zombie villagers were far more common close to the village rather than further away. There, I'm just gonna beat you with my bow. And let's see. Not seeing any. Okay, I'm going to walk around here a little bit. Or fly around. And when I come across a zombie villager, I will come back and we'll take him out and get this, get him cured. Alright, I'm going to head off. Okay, I hear a zombie villager. There's one nearby. I just heard his groan. They have a very telltale groan. Get out of here. I just gotta find him, and hopefully he's not out in the sun. He may be under here, but I just heard him. This guy won't get out of the way. Oh! Wow, look how close I am to death. <laughs> I gotta pay attention to that kind of thing. Okay, let's see if I can hear this guy again. Yep, I hear him still. I think he's underground right here, which is good. Let's go ahead and heal up here. Now, to find him. Um, let me make sure he's not just like hanging out over here. Or, oh, here's a cave opening. Okay, I think we're in luck here. Okay, healed up. Now, I gotta pay attention to that. So let's go in this cave. It sounded like he was in here. I'm gonna need torches so I can see here. Let's just grab, I don't need these eggs. Alright, let's see if I can hear him here. Yes, I'm still hearing him. Okay, so what I might do here, let's just dig a little bit and see if I can locate anything. Okay, he's getting getting louder. And I'm hearing water. I hear him walking around, so let's uh, keep digging here. Let's put some torches down. He sounds more this way. Dig over here. Mm. 
Here we go. Maybe he's over here. Right there he is. Okay, we found one. Perfect. Yeah, and he's trapped in the water, so that is very helpful. He's going to stay put. Oh, crap, these guys. Uh, I don't want these guys to get in the way. Well, this is not going to be fun. <laughs> Why, creepers? Why? Why? You guys always have to just ruin it. Okay, well, it's a splash potion, so maybe... Okay, i got to figure out how to get this guy out of here without the creeper ruining everything. Is there a way that I can hit that creeper without hitting? Okay. Okay. That that's helpful. I just got to get get him back in the water. Okay. Let's get a torch up here. All right. Okay, there's that and then boom. Okay. Now, we just got to get him... Get... Ah! Not another one of these guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to get hit. Oh, well. I wonder if there's a way I should... Okay, I could try to trap him. Okay. Alright, come on. Let's just dance a little bit. I was hoping, I was thinking that maybe I could get a block in my inventory really quick and just kind of trap him. So I wonder how long I'm going to have to wait here. Let's see if I can get him trapped. There we go. Okay, now. Ah, missed. I'll try this again. I'm trying to get him trapped over here. Alright, come back over here. I think I've got this. Put that there. Come in the water. Come for a swim. You just gotta wait this one out, is pretty much how this works. You just gotta wait it out. Okay, he's back in the water. Ah, he got out again. Okay. These guys are just as bad as transporting villagers. Okay, now, he's in that corner. Now we just wait. And so that's what I'm going to do. I will cut to the scene where he changes over to the villager. And there you go. We got the zombie doctor achievement. And there's our newly converted villager. Or I should say healed. Now, is there a village nearby that he can just kind of run to? Otherwise, he's just going to run amok. I don't think there... Well, actually, the village might be just over this hill right here. Let's see. If it is, I'll just try to get him out of there. And Yeah, that village is over there. I wonder if he'll run to that. Try to get him out of that, um, um, out of that pond here. All right, well you're free to go, pal. Up that way. Just don't get turned again. Okay, but anyhow, that right there is. Are, those are the two achievements I was going to try to accomplish today. So let me head back to the house and I'll show you a couple of things that I've done in preparation for a couple of other achievements. Let's see if I can... There we go. That's so much easier to fly with the Elytra with this new hardware as well. Oh, yeah, there we go. We'll just get smacked. Okay, one thing I've done over here is I've added a new animal pen right over here. And yes, I had to do double tall fencing. I don't like it, but I had to. But I got rabbits in here. 
Now these are for two achievements. One is the uh, breeding achievement, so let's go take a look at that really quick. That was over in Husbandry. Two by two. Now, in the previous episode, I only had two of 11, and now I have three 11, because rabbits was the third. I had uh, cows and chickens were the only two that I had before, and then I went ahead and got these rabbits in here. Now, these rabbits are they are easy to attract with dandelions, and they'll follow you pretty far. The problem is they have difficulty sometimes getting up a block, and especially at an angle. It's terribly difficult at times, and so you just kind of ha it, it takes a lot of patience. Kind of like with villagers, it just takes patience. But anyhow, you got to have a double high fence because I put these guys in a single row of fence, and as soon as I bred them, they all scattered and jumped out. And so I had to bring them back in. I double talled the fence, or made the fence double tall. Out of these two gates, so I can walk up here, open the gate, give them what they want, and then, and then uh, let them do the thing and whatnot. So I need to breed up a whole bunch of rabbits because I need rabbits' feet for a potion. And when I get that potion, then that's going to be another one of those potion effects. So I think the next thing I'm going to take care of is the subspace bubble that's traveling through the nether. That's the next achievement that I'm going to cover. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. And I hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Goodbye.